Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your March 2024 general monthly reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. This is the beautiful Bastet Tarot. It's a new deck I'm introducing to the channel. Beautiful artwork. So I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I've been asking everyone else um, for their input, feedback. I'll also put a poll in the community tab. But I would love to know, I'm thinking of bringing back the weeklies, the weekly readings. I used to do them all the time. I do miss doing the weekly readings. However, I work full time. I cannot wait for this to be full time for me so that I can do this more often. However, right now I've cut down my uh, readings to once a month, maybe a bonus, because I do take personal readings at this time. So, okay, let's see. So let me know down below. Do you prefer monthlies, weeklies, uh, both, bonuses, lives, shorter versus longer readings? I'd love your feedback. I'll also put a poll, but don't be shy. Let me know down below. Um, I, I will probably do a bonus mid-month for the eclipse season, and let's get to it. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, March 2024, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Three of Cups, Knight of Cups, King of Cups, and the Star card. Okay. The Star card is your major arcana. This is healing. Whew, I had to take a deep breath here. Sagittarius, I feel like you've been on this long-winded healing journey that has brought you to a very personal journey in your life. It feels a bit heavy. You've gone through some really serious grief healing I'm feeling my head tingle like you're tapping into your psychic gift skills abilities, your crown chakra. You're able to receive messages from the divine. I'm definitely feeling high priestess energy here. But you're also able to tap into other people's energy. I don't know if you're aware of that. You're able to read certain people and situations, who you can trust, who you can't trust. You're seeing people for who they truly are. Even if at one point or another, you were afraid to admit it or you were afraid to see it. I feel like you have a very specific uh, spiritual team, angelic team, your guides. You have more than one that you are working with. I don't know if you realize that or not. The star card is also not just about healing, but finding hope in so many different situations. This is following your North Star, where you feel truly called to, truly aligned. I feel like you're on the verge of embarking on the most joyous, happiest chapter of your life. And yet, there is this confusion like you can't fathom, you can't understand how you are where you are at this time. Because I, I've got the Five of Pentacles here and the Seven of Swords. Five of Pentacles is, you know, financial loss. This is poverty. This is feeling left out in the cold, feeling let down, feeling like, and I heard it this way, okay? So whether you're religious or not, but I feel like feeling like God let you down. So some of you may have been working through some religious grief and separation. If you were very religious at one point and now find yourself to be more spiritual than religious. And yes, there is a difference. I do feel like, like it was almost as though there was this anger or disappointment in being let down 
by God, by the universe, I feel like you've already worked through that. That's not in your current energy. In, in terms of that's not how you're feeling, but some of you may still need to clear off remnants from your aura of that type of energy. Because let's be real, Sagittarius, that energy, that that those feelings don't resonate with you anymore. If you are still there, and maybe you've been watching tarot readings and things of that nature to try to find some sort of answers, like you've gone completely on the opposite end here, I do feel like you will you will come through this in a much better place than you originally thought. I feel like if you are still there and you haven't fully healed, that there's still a lot of anger, resentment, feelings of betrayal, feeling like you've been cheated out of life or out of certain experiences. Okay, so some of you may be going through some health problems is what I heard. You could be dealing with some serious health issues and so now you feel like you're you're being it feels like you're you feel like you're being cheated out of life out of what you thought your life was going to be or was or is meant to be but the 3 of cups follows this now i'm going to tell you straight up the 5 of pentacles and the 7 of swords this is like someone specifically wanting to bankrupt you emotionally, physically, financially, energetically. This is someone draining you. Energy vampires. That is nothing to celebrate. Unless you were wondering who was behind it and you finally figured it out, then yeah. That should be something where you're like, all right, I know where to work from. I know where to go from here. But the Three of Cups after these trying times of feeling like you never thought you were going to be abundant, feeling like you were never going to come out of poverty, feeling like you were never going to have a support system. And now you find yourself feeling loved, cared for, nurtured, supported, having people that you trust rather than having to watch your back. I feel like that all has changed or is changing for you. And it feels amazing. It feels amazing. And again, I feel like it's been a long time coming. Three of Cups. Knight of Cups. King of Cups. Water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We are in Pisces season after all. But I do feel like on an emotional level, you're about to be feeling much more happy, joyous, contented, so much to celebrate, not worried about, you know, people that don't matter because they can't be happy for you. Knight of Cups is a romantic partnership. This is new love taking action. This is dating. This is looking and finding the one, the star with the King of Cups and the Three of Cups above it, Knight of Cups next to it, you're definitely healing from a very tough relationship, a very tough breakup, or a very tough and painful part of your life. Maybe you lost your home, you lost your job, you lost someone close. It feels like this has been a long-winded healing journey. Sagittarius. Spirit, let me know what's being hidden from Sagittarius. What they don't see coming, but they need to know about. Page of Swords. The Page of Swords in the Temperance card has been coming out for a lot of people, by the way. So we'll see if the Temperance card also comes out. Six of Wands. Six of Pentacles. So another six here. Three of Pentacles. Okay. What you don't see coming is smoother times coming ahead. 
Page of Swords is getting rid of the excess, getting rid of what no longer serves you, not being afraid to cut people out, especially if you feel like there's a bit of jealousy that they've been keeping a watchful eye on you. If this is in the workplace, this is someone who um, has been watching you, maybe micromanaging you, uh, maybe waiting for you to slip up. Um, I feel like you could be um, having somebody who's definitely keeping an eye on you, like this is spying, stalking, investigating, six of wands, knowing that things are going to be, this is smooth sailing, things are going to calm down for you, six of pentacles, look at these beautiful cards, with a three of pentacles, this is definitely, you know, giving and receiving energy. This is smooth sailing. This is having the right people on your team, working together, collaborating. I also feel like for some of you, you could have someone that, that can be watching. I'm seeing the justice card. I know it's not here, but if you feel like you've been feeling it, like if you've been treated unfairly or you're getting like the short end of the stick in a specific situation, I feel like someone's watching on the sidelines and it's going to be like hey I know you don't know this but this is what's going on I feel like someone's going to tip you off of something like they're going to say I don't think it's right I feel like they side with you they want to collaborate with you. They want to work together with you. You just want things to calm down. You want smooth sailing. You want equal give and take. You want things to work out for the better for you. I do feel like there is collaborative energy here, collaborative efforts, people working together. You could be um, having some sort of partnership where you teach. Uh, this can be an apprenticeship type thing. You could be learning something new. You could be attending these types of workshops as well where uh, you can learn something new. I do feel like there will be epiphanies that come through for you. So now overall outcome, overall outcome. Eight and nine of swords. King of pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Listen, overall outcome, Eight of Swords. Don't, don't keep yourself stuck. Nine of Swords. If you continue to keep replaying things that make you feel um, scared, anxious, sleepless nights, worries, uh, unable to sleep, um, I feel like you need to trust your, and I heard it this way, okay, so maybe this is how it resonates with you, but you got to trust your spidey senses. You've got to trust, um, you know, your intuition at this time. If something feels like it's not for you, if something feels like, you know, it's being worked against you, take a step back, assess the situation, but don't hold yourself stuck in a specific position because you feel powerless. You are not powerless Sagittarius I want to make that very clear that nine of swords energy here this feels like like someone may want to make your life miserable causing you anxiety worry sleepless nights but I feel I mean this looks like a partnership like marriage partnership this feels like if you are in a marriage partnership relationship, like the two of you stand your ground, you've got each other's back, you're not backing down. You're not going to allow someone to do this to you. So I do feel that that's the energy that's coming through out of that king of pentacles. I mean, look at this majestic being here. Money is going to be really good. Success is on the horizon. Starting a business, you're going to have almost instant success. It's going to have a really, you're going to be received very well is what I heard. If this is looking for promotions, new jobs, new opportunities, if this is, again, I keep seeing the justice card. So I feel like this is about balancing scales. What felt like you were wronged is about to be made right, especially on a financial level um, where perhaps there is money involved here. You will have your piece of the pie is what I'm hearing. Page of pen king of pentacles this is an offer now here's the thing oh and i heard it like this 
if this is your boss, Mr. Moneybags, CEO, supervisor, they want to give you a little bit of an offer, like a small settlement, a little bit of a bonus, a small raise. You're like, don't give me no measly offer. You better come back with a better offer. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Look at this gorgeous card. Ten of Cups. Overall happiness, emotional fulfillment, feeling, you know, like you're in a good place. This is happily ever after. This is happy life, happy wife, happy home, happy children. Um, you know, just feeling like the dust has settled is what Spirit said. It finally feels like the dust has settled. You've paid your dues, Sagittarius, and it's time for you to cash in. I heard that loud and clear. You've paid your dues, and now it's time for you to cash in. I think I'm going to name this reading that. I love, 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 specifically when your outcome has the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh, yes, please. This is very good investments. This is money coming in for you. This is, you know, feeling happy about the decisions that you've made and how you're going to move forward, especially if you're thinking of starting a new business, if you're thinking of collaborations, working with specific people, whatever it may be for you. I do see a lot of success here, a lot of financial abundance and prosperity and feeling good about everything that you've worked on, worked through as well to get you to this point. Sending you guys so much love. I'm going to end this here, Sagittarius. Um, sending you so much love. Have a wonderful month. Remember to give me your feedback in the comments down below or go to the community tab and check out the polls that I've posted up there. And I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.